guess it got started by the neighbors over complaining and run my sewer in the creek and Jason come out from the health department. Oh, honey, it, it just uh, got out of control. We finally had to open it up and make a drain for it. I started having problems about two years ago. It wasn't flush. Mm. Our septic tank was just too little to handle our large family, so we always had run over. Well, we had an old one, what made with bricks and stuff, and then Red Boy came out and gave us, made a new one. We're working with UNCOR, the United Methodist Committee on Relief, and the Daniel Boone National Forest and Work Camp to provide water, safety, sanitation, hygiene projects. So in addition to the clean water access that's now available on campus, we're going to be providing 10 community residents with septic tanks. So this is going to improve their home base, their sanitation and hygiene, as well as improve the quality of water in the Red Bird River watershed. Um, first of all, I'm really thankful that Red Bird did this for us. We had a the top was actually caved in and we were worried about our grandkids and everything around playing. We got the opportunity to apply for a new program through Redbird Mission to have a new house built and part of the qualifications were that we needed a septic system. Through the United Methodist Grant and the septic system program they were able to put in a new septic system in order for us to qualify to be able to get the new house built.